Thank you so much for clicking on another Mass360 YouTube video. Like this video if you like this type of content. Comment below what types of content you want to see on this channel going forward and look out for these Mass360 YouTube videos on a weekly basis. In today's video, I'm joined by Colin. Colin works and partners with all of the Mass360 sellers regarding any engineering and technical expertise we need to bring to our demos with prospective clients. And in today's video, we're focusing on the enrollment options for BYOD devices, what it's going to look like for an admin on the Mass360 account to push down those enrollment options to both an iOS iPhone and an Android mobile phone, and also what it's going to look like for an employee to go through that enrollment process. So, Colin, thank you for joining me. And actually, Colin, I was on a demo yesterday with Kartik, and this was a, a question that came up on that demo. It was a mid-sized bank. They were looking to manage both iOS, iPhones, and Android mobile phones within their environment using Mass360. And these were all BYOD devices. So this is something that's relevant today for a lot of our current customers. So thank you for hopping on the call. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So you wanted to share out your screen, Colin, and we could just go through this. And I'm probably going to have a few questions as we go through it. All right, there we go. Yeah, so as an admin, as soon as you log in, you'll see your homepage of Moss 360. I'm sure Matt has or will do um, some demo walkthroughs as well, just to kind of get to know the portal a little bit different. Um, now, my portal is pretty set up. It's got a good foundation for um, already created policies, apps that's been pushed out, and user users that have been created too. Um, now, there's different topics within each one of those um, to go through, but for our purposes, that's all been set up. So the enrollment is um, fairly easy for a use case in which an employee is bringing their own device and you want to manage a part of that. So uh, the first thing I will show too, just uh, one of the bigger things is that our apps have already been added and I've already gone through the distribution, at least with Android and iOS of who I want these apps to go through, whether it's all devices or certain groups. Um, just to take a peek, I'll look in box here real quick. Oops. So you can see that I've distributed this to all devices. So as soon as an employee would enroll their own device, their own, own device, that box app will be pushed um, as soon as they enroll in Moss 360. Same with anything else that is configured like this. And that so goes Colin, the same that's with install device. automatically? Correct, yep. Okay. You can have it so that it doesn't install automatically, but is available in the Moss 360 app catalog. So it's kind of like a corporate app store um, in which they would click on that app, that app catalog app, and they would have a, the options of all the apps that they have the uh, access to. Now, if you have the option clicked um, to install automatically these apps, it will just automatically appear on the device once it's enrolled. Now they're all. You'll see that too. Appear. Is that going to look differently for corporate versus BYOD, Colin? The the automatic install. Uh, not really. Um, it'll look a little differently. Um, within the. Android side of things because there's a workplace pro profile yep. and a personal profile. So when this Android device gets enrolled, there'll be the workplace profile, click into there, and then the apps will just show up on the home page like that. On an iOS, it'll look the same as whether it's employee owned or corporate owned. Um, those device or those apps would still just be managed by the corporation. Got it. Awesome. So that's a brief overview of the apps that I've got set up already. And then the other thing too, I'll just quick mention is I've have policies already enabled. So when I send out a, the enrollment request, I'll be using these BYOD iOS. I don't have a BYOD for Android, but we'll use this to- All good. The uh, functional one. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just use the default. Um, so I have those pre-set up too. They're a little less locked down. Um, that way the employee is still able to use their device in a nice way. Um, so I'll push those out specifically. And then, like I said, also, you will wanna have users set up as well. 
Um, here we have just a few fun fake uh, users in our portal from the office or Parks and Rec. There you go. If you're a fan of them. So let us know in the comments um, section below what your favorite office character is. I will write absolutely. my I'll write his on the video below in the comments. Definitely. All right. So this is actually where we're going to get started here. Um, for my purposes, I am going to choose Aaron Hannon. So all you have to do is select the user that you want, and we're going to click Add Device. So I guess the first step is I have to add the users into the user directory. Correct. So yep. Go through the enrollment. Okay. And that can be done different ways. Um, so I kind of have this uh, connected to an on-prem Active Directory um, through our Cloud Extender tool. And I also have local users as well, in which I just made them in MOS 360. And within our latest update, the 10.84 um, update of MOS 360, you can actually use both and authenticate against both type of directories or more if you have them. So okay. it's really nice. You don't, you don't actually have to just use one. So small little tidbit there. All right, for the email address, you can enter this in as well. If you want to add a phone number, you can so that they receive a text message. In this case, the phone that I'm using doesn't have text message involved, so I won't, but I okay. will show you on the iOS one. And then here and under the advanced tab, you can select which policies you want. I only have one workplace persona policy. Um, we can get into that another time with um, secure yep. email and secure browser. I'll select Android because this is going to be my Android one. And I'm also just going to use the default Android MDM policy for now. All right. So what we'll do is send request. And what happens is this enrollment request pops up on the admins portal screen. Um, this also goes to this email as well, or it would be in a text message, um, mm -hmm. which you'll see what that looks like on the iOS version. So on my device, give me one second here, I'm actually gonna record the screen. So Colin, I guess being an admin on the Mass360 account, is the work done then from their perspective to get this enrollment process started? And then this employee, all they'll have to do is follow the prompts on the screen to successfully enroll? Correct, yep. Okay. Yeah, now since I'm the admin and I have the device in hand, it's kind of easy for me just to do it um, from my desk. And sometimes that is the the situation with some IT admins too, is that they have the devices in hand before they give them out to the employees. Other times, um, you know, the employee would get that email and they would see um, that show up and enroll the processes there. And I can show you that email actually in just a moment. So now on my device, what's happening is it's, it took me to the IBM uh, MOS 360 URL, this one mm -hmm. right here. And uh, it's asking me to install the MOS 360 app, which I'm going to do. So what will happen, especially on an Android device, is that user should be already signed in, which I wasn't, uh, to their Google Play Store account. And from there, they download the Moss 360 app. 
And once that's downloaded, you'd continue on with the enrollment piece. But as far as this goes, this is all complete here on the portal. Actually, I do well, want that passcode. Now that wasn't a lot of work for an IT manager, director of IT, whoever is in charge of sending these enrollment requests out to employees. Doesn't take a long time. No, it doesn't. And honestly, like in most cases, what we'll see is that um, the thing that is the hurdle for most IT managers is the user credentials. Um, <clears throat> now, in my case, it's a it's a little scatterbrained because I'm working with different instances. But um, for most corporations, they'll integrate with something like Azure or, an, like I said, an on-prem Active Directory, in which those users will have their uh, credentials probably at the time of hire or already using, you know, based on their um, email and that type of stuff. So they'll know that, and if they're knowing that they're using those same credentials to enroll their device, it'll be super easy for them. So not as, not even as long as I'm taking right now. No worries. And I would say, Colin, my favorite thing to talk about when either demoing Mass 360 on a discovery call is the enrollment process, because some of these IT leaders that we're speaking with to configure and set up and image these devices, whether it's a mobile phone or a laptop, it's taking some of them an hour to two hours to get an iPhone and a MacBook up and running for an employee, where we could cut that down to a few minutes mm -hmm. with these enrollment options. Yeah. Um, which, so I am done on the Perfect. employee side. So right now it is just, um, installing everything. And one of the policies is to have a passcode. I don't have a passcode right now. It's already asking me for a passcode. Um, so it's already working. There's not really much else I need to do here. I okay. will create one. Though. So as I record this screen, the apps are coming in in my workspace. Yep. So there they are. Automatically populated. So that mm -hmm. box app that you were looking at populated on that phone with no intervention from the IT team just automatically gets uploaded once enrollment is successful. Awesome. Correct. Yep. Yeah, so it's all there. This will continue to kind of go through. I'll let that be there for a second. Um, so there, that's the that's the Android type of piece, and we'll do another one on my iOS device as well. Now, are you an Android guy, Colin, or are you an iPhone guy? I am an iPhone guy. So. A little bit of I as well. past history for me. I worked at Apple, so I don't know if I can say Android. I, I think I'm bound by oath to always go with <laughs> Apple stuff. So, <laughs> uh, one thing I am doing to point out is I am overriding the authentication uh, just with a one-time passcode generated through here. This just makes it a little easier, at least in my case right now, since I have the devices in hand. Otherwise, like I said, the users would use their own credentials. Okay. I just don't remember all, all the passwords and what. With the iOS type of things, um, the only difference is that you do need to download a profile. Um, through the settings, and it walks you through that. Um, it takes about an extra 30 seconds, but that is, that's the only thing then. So on the Android, you don't have to do that? It just does it automatically? Correct, yep. Okay.
I'm going to just show one thing here really quick. Um, mm -hmm. while I am setting this stuff up. So if you can see my screen, this is actually what the email would look like for that employee. So device enrollment request um, has a passcode that gets sent. That's that one time thing I was talking about. Otherwise it would say, use your credential uh, user, your mm -hmm. credentials. Yeah. Corporate credentials, the other information, you know, and that QR code too, that they can scan. So this is the email that the, the user will get. Once that device enrollment uh, request is sent. Got it. There they go. So how long did that take us, Matt, for two devices? Like 10 minutes? Not for even. the two devices, 10 minutes. Probably not even, Colin. Colin, if you remember your passwords, it probably would have been a little yeah. bit. <laughs> I was going to say, that that did hang us up too. So I apologize about that. But yeah, two devices. Um, yeah, they are downloaded and they're all good. And again, it's not just the enrollment. Yeah, these devices are now enrolled in Mass360, but anything that that employee needs to do their job as a productive employee gets automatically pushed down into that phone. Email configuration, network setup, Wi-Fi credentials, applications, mm -hmm. tools, whatever they need, we can automatically push down those tools and applications to the phone. And once they're successfully enrolled, that just can happen automatically. Absolutely. And while we're here on the homepage, you'll see that here's my new uh, Samsung device. That's the Android. So that just updated. And let's see if my iPhone shows up. Yep. And there is my iPhone. So yeah, pretty instantaneous. This was really good, Colin. Again, like I said, I just demoed with a prospective client yesterday with Kartik. And this was a question that they were looking to get solved. Um, and Kartik was able to walk them through it successfully, but I think this video is going to be really helpful for others that are wondering what does it look like to do enrollment for BYOD devices, whether it's an iOS, iPhone, or an Android device. So thank you so much yeah. for hopping on and, and telling us all how to do that within Master Absolutely. 60. Yeah, not a problem. It was guys, fun. again, yeah, very fun. And guys, again, we're going to have a lot more videos with Colin, Kartik, and Jason they help us Mass360 sellers on a daily basis when it comes to the technical aspects of Mass360. Let us know what you think in the comment sec section below. Again, let us know your favorite Office or Parks and Rec character. Colin, you're going to hate me. I wasn't a big Parks and Rec guy. It takes a bit. I'm a big Office guy, but wasn't a big Parks and Rec guy. I don't know. I, just get, I couldn't get into it. No, I, the first season is very hard to get through. I'll, I'll admit it. But once you get past that, you're fine. There we go. There we go. But if you disagree with me, let us know in the comment section below Absolutely. and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. And again, please subscribe and like this video if you like this type of content. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.